Hey everybody and welcome to the Quadcopter Review. I'm your host Pepe Prawns and as always at the beginning of these videos I like to start them out by asking you to like this video, comment if you want to, and subscribe to the channel. You definitely want to subscribe to see what else is going on. Liking and commenting helps us here in the YouTube search engine. If you look up here right now or in the beginning of any of my videos you're going to see the latest giveaways going on on the channel. You definitely want to check that out. And also look in the description below and you're going to find the links to any of the products I'm reviewing in this video or other videos. Today we're going to be looking at the Armor 85 HD gang. This is by Maker Fire and it holds a 8GB to 64GB SD card. It's 1920x1080p and it is a 2 or 3S LiPo and we're going to check both batteries for you today. And on the back here you can see I got an FR Sky but it does come in in Fly Sky and DSM2 and SFHSS. Uh, you can see what the package includes and you can see the specifications here on the back but I'll talk about those as we actually look at the little quad so let's go ahead and do that and open the box here it is gang we've got the armor 85 HD right here we're gonna go ahead and lift her up take a look at it as you can see it has the Cadex turtle v2 on the front they've given us a 2s 400 lipo in there as well. We've got a little sack here that's got some extra props in it, some nuts and bolts and little dudamid jiggers like that. Look at here, um, full speed. They actually gave us the controller to work with our camera. Isn't that nifty? We also are going to get some stickers for numbers. I guess if you're racing, you can put some numbers on there and decorate your little quad up if you'd like to. We get this little service card, which most of these guys are doing now instead of big, uh, big instruction sheets. We also get this little battery that's a USB battery that's made for a 2S. And we have this little strap here. And the reason why they gave us this strap is because the 2S straps they have on there are removable. So they once again have thought ahead and said, okay, what happens if they want to use 3S? Well, they gave us what we need. Uh, as always, when I get these quads, guys, I go through the nuts and bolts. This particular one had a loose prop bolt that fell off in my hands when I took it out of the box. And it's just a simple reminder that you definitely want to go to make sure your prop bolts are down, make sure your motor mount bolts are down underneath. And and any other things like the frame bolts and stuff like that I also went through this whole little quadcopter making sure everything was you know strapped down decently because that's kind of important now if we take a look underneath here you can see the straps that are gonna hold the 2s in those are removable you can add your velcro if you want to go 3s under here we've got our 1103 10,000 kV motors four blade props we have our Cadex Turtle V2 camera that they're using for the HD. We also have in here our 2S battery that came with it. Now this is uh, pretty much a generic 400 2S uh, battery that's uh, HT30 as you can see there, but nothing, um, nothing super fancy there, but a supplied battery just the same so that's always good now this one is a carbon fiber and plastic mixed guy it's uh it's flexible but you know this plastic is kind of concerning to me it's pretty hard but if you were to break one they are individual on the frame so you could just replace those no problem we got a dipole here in the back and our receiver wire is underneath because it comes straight out the back right there there's been a ton of details put into this I gotta tell you every little thing was thought about they got all these interesting little parts they made for this specific thing and, and it worked out great so let's go ahead and go in and and we're gonna change and turn off our VTX off of our camera with the supplied dongle, full speed. Um, so we'll shut those off and we'll save and exit. If you're to screw up at all and start typing a name, just reset it, it'll only reset that area and then go back and turn off your items. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to take a look in the image effect section and the image effects section is where we're going to go ahead and make our optimal settings. So what you're going to want to do is change saturation to 3, change sharpness to 2, change your contrast to 4, and have the brightness at 6. And then save and exit that and that'll hold those settings and when we get into the flight video I'll show you why I have the settings set that way. The next thing we're going to do is head into our video section and what we'll do is we will go into the auto recording and I turn it on to on so what happens is as soon as you power it up 
it's gonna start recording and you don't have to worry about pushing that little button. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is using Smart Audio, go in and change my VTX. So to use Smart Audio, you're going to put your throttle stick to the center point, pull it left, and take your pitch stick and push it forward and you'll get into this menu. Up and down, left and right, just like you would expect. We're gonna go into that VTX section right there. I'm gonna change my band. I like to use E1, that's what we're gonna use. And I'm gonna change my power over to 100. Uh, in filming this, I actually put it to four, but it does say that it only goes to 100. So at this point, you can go down to set and follow that. It'll set it and reboot the thing and you'll be able to look at it and see if it's changed. Or you can just go all the way out and do a save and exit to save the whole thing and you'll be ready on your channel and power level. Remember, the power level you select can control how much battery usage you have. So if you don't need to go higher, stay at 25 and keep some of your battery. So if you haven't watched any of my videos when I talk about the Cadex Turtle V2, these settings that I use are great for filming. As you can see, we're clear and, and such, and this would work just fine if you didn't have any editing tools and you were gonna post raw. This would work for you. However, uh, what happens is unless you change your uh, brightness and such in your goggles, the view you're going to get is a view I'm about to show you in your goggles. So here's what's gonna happen. It's gonna be pretty light, as you can see there. It's flyable, your eye gets adjust adjusted to it, you know, fairly quickly, um, but it's gonna shock you when you pull your goggles down to see how light it is. But, you know, as you can see, we end up with good settings. If you tried to run that at the five by five by five by five default that it comes with, it's going to make you wish you never bought one of these cameras. These cameras are fine, you just have to set them up properly. So. We're going to go ahead and go through this area here and just showing you some of the footage and again I'm not trying to do freestyle or anything crazy with this I'm just giving you some flight and some some looks around so as you can see on my right hand side here that is the raw and if you take it into your editing tools and apply a little bit of contrast and a little bit of saturation and brighten it just ever so this is what you can end up on with the left so you know th that freedom's your own how how visually you would like to show it but we've got plenty to work with is my point we've we've left ourselves plenty of detail and not blasted it out like it does on default so you definitely want to start with these settings and adjust accordingly from there but uh the quad flies smooth on 2s it's slightly underpowered to me uh you don't want to i like to cut the grass um you've probably seen it in all my videos most of my crashes because I'm, I'm hovering the ground at like you know one inch and uh it doesn't take much in a whoop class to uh to, you know, the wind blows wrong and all of a sudden you're eating the ground. So that's pretty much the only things I had, but that's kind of my own doing and my own fault. Otherwise, very in control. Um, these are my PIDs. Um, if you want to know what they are, I can put them on. Just ask uh, at the moment. I won't take up any of our description space with that, but I'll, I'll add them into the comments if you're interested in them. But it's a very smooth flyer. Uh, we'll just get rid of that now so you can see the full thing. I'm not going to bother with sound because here's the thing. The sound is worthless. Uh, it is great if you leave this quad on your table and you're working on this thing and you're recording because you're setting up your uh, VTX or something. You listen to it and the TV will sound beautiful and everything in the background. But once you put these little motors ripping, you know, as fast as they do, you just get a loud, loud scream and it's really not of any use for you. Like like it would be, let's say, on a five inch. They're just too loud. So that right there is our 2S, and let's go ahead and jump into our 3S. So off we go here on our 3S battery, and I am using a Tattoo 300, I believe. Let me look here, 300 3S battery, and that's what we're using. So not a huge one, anything like that, just you know, kind of what maybe people would have already from expecting to use them in other quads. And that's what I'll do later testing on 450s, 500s, things like that, because I think it can carry it with these motors, but uh, we'll check on that later. But right now I want to use pretty much what's stock expected. So no need to talk any further about the camera. We already did that. And as you can see, probably from the start of the video, I 
went a little bit more aggressively leaving the porch and it definitely has a lot more punch on this 3s yeah, that's for sure than the two and no problems at all i'm not getting washouts anything like that it's definitely a great little cruiser i am really i'm really liking this thing um i really think it, it's a really nice quad it's really well thought through and to give you some examples um there's some custom printed parts on this thing that uh, even holding the wires uh onto that carbon fiber frame just to prevent it from getting the wires in the motors and stuff i mean and you're not finding that with a lot of people thinking that through and as you saw there i came around the corner and there was a cement truck so i had a little panic and hit the dirt uh, pretty much to be expected. Uh, like I said, I'm not here to tell you what to buy or anything like that. Just show you the results of what I got. Uh, this one performs really well. I like it a lot personally. I don't feel in any way that it was a bad investment to have it. And if you're interested, don't forget to look at the links below. Now, I'm sure uh, I'll have plenty of comments in the comments below that Maker Fire sucks and their supports crap. And but I get that on every brand on every video. So. I take that with a grain of salt because, you know, we're dealing with electronics here, fragile electronics, using thin carbon fiber, using plastics, you, you know, I don't know of any quad yet that's not broken or had something happen to it. it it's, it's the hobby we're in. It, it, there wouldn't be shirts everywhere that says, you know, fly, break, fix, fly, break, fix, you know, it's, it's, it's part of it and it's part of the fun. So. I found it nice. That's my opinion. You guys can uh, make decisions for yourself off of watching the video, and I hope I've given you enough to, to let you know that it is pretty decent. Now, if you need to know more, in the description on every video of a review of a quadcopter, I put all the details in there and the specifications. You can check it out there, or you can check the links below and go to the site and read more about it. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Happy flying. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out the quadcopter review. If you want to see more interesting reviews on FPV related stuff, take a look up here in the old right corner right there. You'll find links to all the rest of my reviews. If you want to get in on some of the best giveaways on YouTube, look over here. Don't forget to subscribe right here on my chin. And if you want to check out my flying only videos separated from the review channel, check that out right here. And thanks for coming. Don't forget to subscribe and happy flying.